Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. And today is going to be a follow-up video to the one I did yesterday. Now, if you're not watching this video today, you're probably watching it tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe late down in the future. But my topic, it's going to be pretty much the same as it was yesterday. Sport icons. And yesterday, I did Derek Jeter for baseball. I did LeBron James for basketball. And I did also who did I do money making Mayweather Mayweather boxing which I'm not a fan of um, he's awesome well I spoke about him in the last video you know I respect his skill but I don't respect his mouth but he could back it up so whatever you know <laughs> um, and today I'll be doing soccer I'll be doing uh, Messi I'll be doing Tiger Woods golf and finally, I'll be doing Tom Brady slash Peyton Manning. And it depends because that's going to be a little bit more of a lengthy uh, uh, commentary, I guess you could say. Because, uh, man, I'm, I'm a super diehard NFL football fan. Just football in general. I'm 100% I'm Denver Bronco fan. Ever since you know I was like seven years old, which I knew what what football was and what sports were. So, yeah. Uh, well, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and start with uh, Messi, Lionel Messi from Argentina. He currently plays with the uh, uh, FC Barcelona. If you don't know who that who that team is, just research it, and his name is gonna it's gonna pop up right away. He currently played in the World Cup. Unfortunately, he did lose the World Cup. Give a big, big round of applause to Germany because they just dominated everybody. They, they didn't even lose a game, tie a game, nothing. They just flat out beat everybody, which that's what a World Cup champion should do. But all right, for Messi, he's just an amazing player. For me, he's the best right now. Uh, I know Cristiano Ronaldo is right there, but he's not. he's not where Messi's at. And I know I had a comment that asked me um, if uh, you'll probably know who I'm talking about, you know, because you make this you made this comment. It was a question, which um, do I think Messi will reach the potential or the um, skill level? I don't know skill level, but is he going to be considered like the best of all time, like Pele uh, with Brazil? And he he said that he didn't. Well, he this is the follow-up answer he gave to his own question, saying that no, that Messi needs to win a World Cup. I agree, but there is something else. Uh, my answer was no. I do not believe nobody's going to catch up to uh, Pele. Pele was just a different type of breed of dude at that time. Um, which he was just insane. He won his first World Cup at the age of 17 years old. Man, some kids barely have their license for a full year by that time. And this guy already won a World Cup? That's insane. That's that's skill, you know. Yet again, it is a team a, a team game, but he was the main star, you know. So so it's crazy. Now, I had a little thought you know, I said, well, what about if Pele would have been born in our era? How good would he have been? Would he be considered like a Messi? Would he blow out Messi in skill level? Would he be a lot better, better than Cristiano Ronaldo? Or would he just be like an average guy? You know, you, you always have those thoughts. Like, what if Babe Ruth played in our era? Or what if Michael Jordan played in our era? Would, would they dominate the game just like they did in their era? Or vice versa? If LeBron James would have played back then in the NBA when Michael Jordan was around, it was more of a uh, physical type of NBA, would he be as skillful as he is? Or would he be just like another dude? You know, you just you just never know. You never know. You just have to take it for what it is. And for me, Messi, 
uh, this is my personal opinion. I know Maradona is like the main top guy for for other people, but for me, I think Messi is better than Maradona. I know I'm gonna get hate. I know I'm gonna get you know tons of hate from people from Argentina if you guys are watching it. But for me, Messi, his skill level is out the charts. Uh, he just dominates, dominates. You have to know where he's at every time. With Maradona, he did win a World Cup. It's just, I don't know. There was something about him I didn't like. There was that he did score a goal in a World Cup. From uh, supposedly it was a header, but it was not a header. It was handball. He t he actually scored that goal with his hand, and that's what got them to win. I don't know if it was a World Cup or a semifinal. Not for me. That for me, I respect. Guys who um, flout out are fair play at all times in their game. Because that, that shows a true competitor and being the best that he can be, even knowing that he's at fault at times. Now, that's just messy for me. He hasn't shown none of that. You know, n n no disrespect to the game, no disrespect to players. He's just flat out true gentleman on the pitch and his skill level just leaves everybody out in, in the dust. I'll say that. Now, I guess I'll talk about um, Tiger Woods. Now, I know a few years ago there was a big controversy because he uh, cheated on his wife. His wife was trying to, I guess, kill him. Well, not really kill him, right? But... <laughs> She she was pissed off at him and because he was cheating with you know so many uh, other girls or whatever you know but that that's a diff that's different okay that's different just like Maradona was addicted to cocaine and but that's that that has nothing to do with in the game okay that's just their personal life for me Tiger Woods I think he let his personal life ruin his golfing career now. I'm not saying 100% that his career is pretty much just done, but man, this guy would dominate every tour, everything. And I just think he just let he just let, you know, this this thing of of him losing his family, his kids take over him and and just get his head out of the game. Now I understand family is the most important, but if family is the most important thing in your life, then you shouldn't be cheating. Because I believe if you cheat, you're not just cheating on your wife. You're cheating on your family. You're cheating on your kids. And you're fooling everybody else. And that's that's the true significance of cheating. Well, at least for me. But man, this guy would... He, he's probably the... Why sometimes I'll sit around and watch some golf. I'll have a beer, but... Just very, very lightly, you know. I'll, I'll watch maybe an hour of golf whenever it's on. It's just to, to watch it. I enjoy it. I, I've never played golf. I mean, closest thing I've done is probably go play miniature golf at, you know, some, you know, like a, I don't know, some place wherever you go to play miniature golf. I just can't. I can't think of the name of the places I've played. Uh, boondocks? No, not boondocks. I don't know. There's different places that I've gone. Um, but, man, I I do wish, I do want him to come back and be that dominant. Just because he makes the game so much better. And, you know, it just raises the level and the bar, you know, and the skill for everybody else. And you see top-notch golf. Alright, guys. I'll bring you guys tomorrow another commentary. Tom Brady, Paint Manning. Alright, catch you guys next time. Peace.